I think Rihanna wanted to create a lingerie brand that included everyone and that kind of opened up what sexy means to everyone. I've heard nothing but great things about Fenty and been following Rihanna since like umbrella days. All I've heard is that it's by Rihanna. I heard about Fenty before they released because I'm a lingerie fiend. Never tried it though because when I tried to buy it, there was a two hour wait time. This is not my first time in Fenty lingerie. I went to a Fenty pop-up shop. It was refreshing to hear that they had sexy bras for us plus size girls. Yeah, I love it. It fits great. I think I look great. I like the lace trimming because it looks like even if I wore a t-shirt, it's not gonna be so obvious. This bra definitely feels like a high quality bra. It has like a little lace detail right here and a little satin underneath. It's got a lot of structure, so if I was to wear anything that needed a lot of shape, I would definitely put this bra on. I'm just really excited that Fenty is making bras that fit me. My size is 42D, and they do not usually carry my size in regular stores. So. I'm sick of trying to get only the plain black, the plain khaki, you know, plain nude bras. So it's nice to see that Savage is coming out with some lacy and sexy bras. Because of the cup of my bra size, I always have to like pay more money so that I have like good quality bras. I'll definitely be shopping with Fenty moving forward. This bra fits really well. Well, I really like it a lot. I've seen a lot of the bras online and they seem pretty excessively priced. I think the most I paid was like 25 or $30. When you're busting, it's harder to find bras that are $20, $30. Usually I'd pay $40 to $50 for a bra because it'll last you a long time. The most I've paid for a bra is like $72. I'm gonna say like 80. $80? I think for a woman of my size that a higher price point means better quality because I have a big band size. The most I've paid for a bra is between $60 and $80. I don't own that many bras, so I'd rather have a few that are more expensive that fit really well than like 10 or 12 that are much cheaper and don't make me feel as confident. When I look for a bra, I look for something that's very comfortable and feels like I don't have a bra on at all. I need straps that can adjust all the way just because I have a longer torso. I look for support, so I love underwiring. No bra bulge at the back. I usually go for a little bit of padding. I'll do like some padding, but I won't do some that will add like three sizes of padding because then it'll look weird. I'm definitely president of the itty bitty committee. This bra does not have enough padding for me. <laughs> if a bra does not have padding, I'm not gonna buy it. Like I have wide shoulders and a wide torso. And so when there's a little push up there, it makes them stand up a little bit better. I have huge breasts and I definitely like do not like the idea of like the spillage. So I always look for a bra that gives me the coverage. Something that doesn't cut into my sides. I need like thicker fabric on this side to just kind of accommodate some of my extra love. I definitely won't buy a bra if there's an underwire because it digs into my skin. I don't like it. I used to have a lot of trouble finding my size. I think generally my band size is pretty small for my cup size. I've had to like compromise with like a bigger band size, smaller cup. I have a little bit sloped shoulders, <laughs> so I tend to have straps kind of sliding off of my shoulders throughout the day. I shopped at Target and got like a 32 double A, like kids bra and like that worked for a little bit. Since I have a wider rib cage, I always feel like I'm being like zipped into a corset or something like that. I think because I, it took me so long to like grow comfortable in my boobs, I always wanted to squeeze myself into a smaller band size. Like I really wanted to be a 32 or a 34 and I'd wear a 34C and I realized like I have really broad shoulders and I have a really wide rib cage. Push-ups hurt. After about four hours, I'm in pain right here. I'm in pain up here. And then when you get home and you take it off, it's like, I can breathe again. It's hard to find an appropriate amount of padding for me because I don't want it to look like they're my breasts are fake. Spillage is my biggest problem. Sometimes the cup fits, but then the band is like too tight, so then I get that weird spillage on the side. Or if the band is fitting, the cup isn't fitting, so then I have the spillage on the front. I prefer thick straps and a little bit of padding because sometimes like my back starts to hurt, so the padding like helps with the pressure. A bra deal breaker for me is something where the straps are 
they're not supportive or thin, they slide down. I feel like a giant misconception is that if you have small boobs, like you don't have the issue of the strap sticking in, but that's false. I could definitely be smaller than a 32, but I've never gotten it fitted. I don't know if so 30 exist? I haven't been professionally fitted for a bra. I just don't want to find out how small I could potentially be. I have not been professionally fitted for a bra. Before I got professionally fitted, I was in a, the wrong size. Before I went into the store and got fitted, I was definitely wearing like a wrong size bra that was not comfortable. I used to work at Victoria's Secret, so yes, I have been professionally fitted. I definitely felt comfortable when I found the right size bra. My go-to bra adjustment move is one of these, sliding my fingers underneath the bra to give myself a little bit of peace from the torture. <laughs> my go-to bra adjustment move is to grab them, pull them in. Grab it, pull it in. I am a lifter and pusher, so I will pick up the bra over the head and then try to stuff it in there. My go-to bra adjustment move is the move my mom taught me in middle school, the bend over and scoop. Oh, I love it. I want to get a few more. <laughs> Add to my collection. I feel so good. I can't stop looking in the mirror. This is cute. I am a Fenty convert. I would absolutely buy this bra. This is actually the perfect bra for me. It has a little bit of a push up, but not too much. Not anything that's like completely uncomfortable. Whether it's Rihanna's nice makeup or her underwear, she can't go wrong.